I mean, it had to be pretty cool that the 400 pro point was the overtime winner in Providence, right? Yeah, it was really cool. I didn't realize it until uh, uh, after the game, I think, uh, a text or someone on the team told me. Or, um, so they probably listened to your call. So, and, um, But anyways, yeah, obviously it's um, been playing a while, so that's why I got to 400. So um, it's, uh, you know, it's not just me, though. It's my teammates, it's my coaches, and everybody along the way, my parents who give me an opportunity to um, – play this game for this is my 10th year pro so um, there's a lot of people it's not just me so but it's a special moment for for those reasons for me um can you sort of play back it was it was Roseanne right like yeah it was a turnover at the top of the zone and you were right place right time with the pro that side. yeah yeah um I think they were obviously Cooley has a tremendous one timer on the far side so I think they were respecting that and um just was able to slide off on the back side and um, um uh, caught it and then Beat a back blocker side, so it was uh, it was a big win for our team. So just you know, that's mo the most important thing. Um, you guys are on a six game winning streak. Nurse, you've been here for about now four years with the Amherst. Is this the best this team has looked in your time here? Uh, six, it's six games. Six, I, I didn't. Six, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, but anyways, to answer your question, uh, it's tough. I don't want to really compare because every season is different, right? Um, I, I think as a team, we're trying to just focus on becoming better hockey players and um, um, continuing to, to grow and, and uh, be a better team too. So, you know, there, there's never a finished product and you got to keep working because when you don't, that's uh, when things go the other way. So I uh, just got to make sure that we stay on our details in our game. Do you think you guys have kind of this um, killer instinct, never say die, like Saturday you're down midway through the third, 18 year old gets a game time goal. Mm -hmm. Sunday you're up for nothing. They're roaring back. All the pressure's on you guys. You find a way to kill Big Pony in overtime and win in a shootout. Like, what, can you describe this team's ability that it really doesn't matter what situation you're in, there's always a chance to win? Yeah, I, I think that's a mindset for sure. Um, obviously, the easy thing would be to let up and say, oh, it's not our night, and uh, we'll just you know, get ready for the next one and hope we can squeak it out or. You know, look at each other, but we don't do that stuff. We we stick together and we come together in those types of moments, or at least try to. It's not going to go your way every way, but if you uh, you try to stick with that mindset and believe that you have a chance, um, you know, you usually have a better chance of things working out in your favor. Did you not know you guys were on 16 I just I honestly don't don't uh, um, try to focus on that stuff. You know, the next game is the most important one to be honest with you. So. Um, just trying to focus on becoming better um, um, and just just sticking with the process because it, 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 that stuff is in the past now, really. So, yeah, honestly, just trying to stay in the moment. You know, it, I think that's important as an athlete. Absolutely. Does it feel like you guys have just been the last month and a half? Things have just been celebrating more in the locker room after wins and you just Go to the next thing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're they're so important at this time of year. Like, if you look at our standings, like, no matter, like, if you're, um, no, I mean, you know, there's still a lot of spots and teams can jump and, and move in different spots. So, um, I think, you know, because of that situation, it it, it, it forces us to, um, you know, not let off the gas and. Um, you know, the reality is there can still be a lot of movement. So, um, you know, we got a big game Friday, which makes it fun. You know, Yuri was just in here talking about how, you know, previously in his career, his job was just to score goals, play offense. This yeah. year he kind of had more put on his play, but it was mm -hmm. tough for him. The scoring kind of slowed down a little bit. He said he dealt with some challenges. How have you seen him, you know, grow throughout the season and kind of deal with some of those, you know, difficulties this year? Yeah. It, it, I mean, if you look back from the beginning of last year when he got here to who he, you know, to now at this point, um, his his growth has been awesome. And you got to remember, is he was he nineteen? Is he twenty? Is he twenty yet? Yeah, twenty. He's twenty now. And he came in so young, and um, you know, for him, what he did last year and what he's doing this year, like for a lot of people, that's not even an option. So, um, but he keeps growing, and he's got a great mindset. 
Um, I couldn't be doing what he's doing at the, this age last year or this year, but um, yeah, he, he takes a lot of responsibility and pride in his game and uh, um, it shows. And, and uh, for him, you know, whether, it, as the sample size gets bigger as a hockey player, like you're gonna go through slumps or you're gonna go through times when you're not scoring. And, um, it's a good learning lesson to learn how to, you know, get out of those mentally and um, what you need to do physically on the ice. And, um, you know, I think he's going to learn from those types of situations because I tell him, you know, he's going to score goals, whether it, you know, comes tomorrow or the week after or whatever. So, um, it, you know, he's had a lot of good learning experiences, and I think that uh, um, he uses those in the right way to become a better hockey player. When you're on this kind of a run, the team, whether or not you know exactly how long it is or not. It, it gets to a point where you know you have to keep building and building the playoff. Mm -hmm. That's a long time to be playing good hockey. How do you kind of keep that winning streak, that mentality rolling, and not worry about you know peaking too early? Or yeah. Like that? Yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't want it to seem like I don't know what's going on around the <laughs> ring. You know, <laughs> and I, I, I'm aware that uh, um, we're going to fight for the playoffs to make the playoffs and. Every game's important, uh, and uh, you know we're we're trying to keep it simple and you know just what I, like like I said. But um, um, I think just sticking to um, what we do here, you know, we we have a certain schedule, we have a certain routine. Try to stick in that routine, whether it works that day or works you know the next day or that night. Um, we try to stick to what we do here and um, be consistent, and you know we think that that works in the long run. So. And like I said, whether it works today, tomorrow, or whatever, um, we just try to stay consistent so that we have opportunity to play our best hockey. Our coach talked about last season being such a young team that experience breeds confidence because we've been through something before. Mm -hmm. The way that you guys have been able to win the last month or so, different ways, kind of like mm -hmm. what you're saying, is there a sense of calmness on the bench when you have a four goal lead, you lose it, and instead of hitting the panic button, there's a sense of like, all right, like we're still fine. We're still in the game. Do you guys feel that confidence on the bench in all those situations? Down one, up one, blowing a four goal lead, or the ability to come back and chase? Yeah, yeah. I think that is uh, something that we've learned to, to deal with over uh, my time period here. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, we've, like, if you look back to last year in playoffs, sometimes it didn't work in our favor that game, but. It worked in our favor for the next game, right? So, um, um, yeah, I think it's it's definitely experience, and there's been um, um, a lot of growing for me too. And uh, um, um, you know, playoff experience is important.